A new movie, Francis, starring Jessica Lange, tells the shocking but true story of 1930s stage and screen star Francis Farmer. For those of you who don't remember the actress, here's a look at her in her prime. Practically, no other star in motion picture history has traveled the rocky road to oblivion as fast and as painfully as Frances Farmer, the beautiful blonde from Seattle who, in 1937, was hailed as the brightest star Hollywood had discovered in years, the next Garbo. In a seven-year span, she made 19 movies, co-starring with some of filmdom's biggest names, such as Bing Crosby in Rhythm on the Range and Ray Milland in Ebb Tide. You better get back in the school now. No, I won't. I've had enough of your drunken behavior. She even conquered the critics on Broadway, starring in Golden Boy. Rarely has any newcomer had such a promising future. At the age of 23, she was a star. At 30, she was committed to a public madhouse, declared legally insane at the insistence of her own mother. There's no good in going on like this. The story of Frances Farmer's rise and fall has finally been dealt with by the Hollywood community that dumped her so fast 40 years ago. The film Frances features Jessica Lange in one of the strongest roles for an actress in years, and who almost appears to be a reincarnation of the real thing. For six months, she intensely researched Frances's career. Do you see my ma? There was only one well-made, well-acted, well-crafted film, and that was one of her first ones, Come and Get It for Sam Goldwyn. You could see the excitement. You could see her, you know, her interest and her fascination with the part and with the story and the director and the other actors. She was wonderful. She was just overwhelming. While Frances Farmer was beautiful and talented, she was also extremely outspoken and independent, two traits that were to eventually lead to problems with the police, her studio bosses and her mother. The tragic result was Frances Farmer's six-year incarceration in the Washington State Asylum for the Insane, when according to those who knew her best, she wasn't insane at all. It was the ruination of what could have been one of Hollywood's most brilliant careers. The Rocky Road to Oblivion, concerning the life story of actress Frances Farmer, a look at the final years of Miss Farmer's life and her appearance on one of the nation's most popular television shows. In 1958, Frances Farmer was the guest subject on Ralph Edwards' This Is Your Life. It was the last national appearance for the once radiant blonde star of 19 Hollywood movies and three Broadway plays. Her career ended in 1942 after she was railroaded by her mother into an insane asylum. Her tragic story is now the subject of a new motion picture, Frances, starring Jessica Lange, in a performance the critics have already acclaimed as Academy Award caliber. To prepare for the role, Jessica spent six months researching Frances's life. I did a lot of um, reading. I did a lot of talking to people who knew her. And then I just did a lot of work on kind of getting the emotional instrument ready for this role. And that, that took the most time. Though. While Frances Farmer's outbursts were the most emotionally draining to portray, it was the final chapter in her life, including the television appearance on This Is Your Life, that Lang found the most difficult. Were you, Frances? No, I was never an alcoholic. Uh, did you ever take dope? No, never. Do you want to tell us what happened then, Francis? Well, you know, I didn't think then, and I still don't, that I was actually sick, but there were so many people who, who seemed to think I was mentally ill that I just had to find out why and, and find out whether it was my fault, what was happening. It, uh, you know, if you get treated like a patient, why, well, you have to act like one. And uh, these things just pushed me a little too far, and uh, it led to conflicts and strife with my mother. She thought I needed more care, and so she had me committed to the Western State Hospital in Washington. Frances Farmer eventually moved to Indianapolis and for several years hosted a local television show. She died in obscurity from throat cancer in 1970, leaving many who knew her story with one overriding impression. That she had great talent, great potential, and great presence, and it was all wasted. Story of Frances Farmer. We'll be back with more next time.